I'm Gary. Please meet Tiara, Hi. our host for today. <laughs> so this is us changing it up a bit. Um, welcome to another episode of Wellness Insider. I'm here with Dr. Gary and he's actually a chiropractor. Yes, yes with um, Cairo Works. Cairo Works, yes. that's right. Very yes. nice. So why don't you tell us a bit more about yourself and what you do? Okay, well, I'm a chiropractor. I specialize in two things, pain relief and peak performance. Mm -hmm. So pain relief for people with you know, sometimes acute aches, they fell over, they injured themselves, mm -hmm. or also the chronic ones, the ones that kind of hang around and like that pain in the neck, okay. really just drive you nuts and, you know, they just irritate you yeah. right, from the inside. Um, on the peak performance side, there's two parts to it. One mm -hmm. of it is just for athletes from, you know, recovering from injury and rehabilitation. Yeah. Um, and the other half of it is actually getting them to perform better. Okay, that's very so, interesting. Yeah, so as an example, one of my clients uh, just won the Asia Championships at the oh. Ironman over, over the last two <laughs> yeah. weeks in Cebu. So uh -huh. that was the first race that she had done in mm -hmm. years without any hip pain. And of course, she not only won the age group, but she also topped uh, the bike and uh, the bike and run legs um, overall for the women. This is very interesting because when you talk about like chiropractic, you don't actually associate it with like sports stuff or you know we yeah. just go to it and we think of oh okay I have this pain I have this neck pain I have mm -hmm. this body aches yep. you know how can I how can I solve it yes so is that um, a large percentage of your clients I that mean, you see yeah it kind of goes both ways yeah. I mean you're gonna have uh, who I call desk warriors, so people mm -hmm. who are stuck at their desk all day, yeah. um, or just the people who might be, I'll say, more desk bound or more sedentary in their mm -hmm. lifestyle, um, and go home and they'll just sit down and watch TV, or again, sit in front of another screen, another computer, yeah. or their, their phone, or, or a exactly. tablet, right? And, oh, I, I get that, you know, that, that night yep. ache yep. after sitting at a computer. Yep. So there's yeah. heaps of people who fall in that category, okay. but of course, there's a lot of, I mean, in Singapore, there's so many runs, there's like a run every mm -hmm. single weekend, so there's heaps of people that are really excited about. Um, you know, getting fit, yeah, yeah, just getting fit or trying to break up their, mm -hmm. you know, their monotonous work lifestyle with a little bit of sport or exercise, yeah. um, all the way through, of course, to the professional level. Mm -hmm. So um, I do see quite a big mix, okay. um, and you know, there are people on both camps. Yeah. So how effective is chiropractic treatment? Ooh. in Because we know like, it's a bit alternative, so our viewers are a bit. Uh, mm. Okay, so here's my biggest qualm with this question: <laughs> we are not mm. alternative. Oh, really? <laughs> No. Okay. So essentially, um, a lot of viewers, a lot of people view us mm -hmm. as alternative, and we are completely not alternative. Um, what I mean by that is, there are some of my clients who I co-manage with other people. Mm -hmm. So they could be, um, you know, following up with their surgeon from time to time. Yeah. They could be following up with even a physiotherapist or someone else, and they mm -hmm. might be specialising and working on this part of their health and this yeah. and improving that while I'm doing something else. So. In that, it's a collaborative effect, or it's a, um, mm -hmm. a complementary effect. Okay. okay. Um, so that's just to address that little qualm that I have. In terms of your question, yes. effectiveness, uh, I'd like to say that 60 to 70% of my clients on their first visit are going to walk out feeling better. Now. So if you ever have all these kind of aches and pains, you know who to see. So in <laughs> one, yeah, but in one visit, 60 or 70% of people are going to walk out feeling better. Now, That's it could just be quite an interesting. Um, well, it could be a, just a little bit better. Yeah. Or it could be like 80, 90% better. Yeah. Um, and it just depends on the person, how bad it is, how long they've had it for. You know, there's heaps yeah. of stuff. You okay. Know, there. Very interesting. Mm. So, um, I mean, on that topic, you know how we, when when we have like all these pains in our body, mm -hmm. we usually just go like, okay, it's time for a massage. Yeah. 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 So, um, how is chiropractic different or better uh, than a massage? Okay, I'll never say it's better because I love massages. <laughs> Let me just get that straight first. Um, but way better. Yeah. For but, your body in but, terms of I mean, I mean just, well, okay, so here's, here's the difference, right? Mm -hmm. Is that, um, first of all, there's some people who just live with aches and pains and go, oh, it's just normal. Yeah. It's part of daily life. Everybody gets it, so it's fine, mm. right? Or they say, I'm just getting old. And that's fine because yeah. you know when you get old, everything falls apart, yes. right? But if you do want to go for a massage, you have to realize there's three layers in the body. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've got the top layer, which is the muscles. Mm -hmm. And if you go for a massage and you have a muscle problem, the massage is going to fix that layer really, really well, unless okay. it's a bad massage. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's going to cause more aches. If well, yeah. So if you address that muscle layer, but I mean a massage is one of yeah. the things. You could stretch. You could use a foam roller, like another mm -hmm. self-massage tool. Um, you could 
just rest or at least take it a bit easier, mm -hmm. you know, don't overload your muscles. Yeah. And if you do all these sorts of things, your muscle layer is going to be fine, you're going to feel better. Mm -hmm. But if your injury or your problem goes deeper than that really superficial muscle layer, you hit to the mechanics. Yeah. And if the mechanics goes off, then your joints aren't moving properly or your balance is not right or, um, you know, the, the function of the body is not working mm -hmm. well, then you're going to need somebody to adjust it. It's like, you know, F1's around the corner yeah. as we're filming this. So um, it's like having an F1 race car and tuning it up right so that, mm -hmm. you know, you shave off half a second on, on that turn. Okay. Ah. So that's mechanics. Okay. okay. And then, of course, if you go down to the third layer, you have this brain-body connection. Yes. And the brain-body connection's something that... Um, is easy to grasp, like example, you stand on one leg, mm -hmm. you've got to try and balance, and yes. that's a brain-body connection. Yes. But it's actually a lot more than that because our brain controls our whole body. Exactly. Okay, it controls all the pain we feel, but it controls mm -hmm. a lot of other stuff as well. So if we can get that flow from mm -hmm. the brain to the body and the feedback loop from the body back to the brain, then you know you're you know yeah. you're functioning optimally, right? And that's so, what I want with my athletes. So it's not just a physical thing. It, so it's, it's more like a neurological as yep, well. Yeah. Both. So lots it's a, yeah. It's physical and it's neurological. Perfect. Okay. Very nice. Nice one. <laughs> nice one. Good insight. I know some stuff. Cool. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> don't be fooled. This man is actually not just very talented in his chiropractic profession. He's also an ex Australian national. Badminton player. Where did you read that? Oh, I have my sources. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I did play uh, yeah. badminton for Australia mm -hmm. uh, for a little while. Um, so what got you into this line of work? What got me into this line of work? Well, really easy. When I was mm -hmm. younger, I played a lot of sports. Mm -hmm. So I swam competitively, I played soccer competitively, I played mm -hmm. badminton competitively, and then uh, when I retired, so-called, from swimming, I decided to play water polo competitively <laughs> as well. Um, There's a sports guy here. And uh, so, of course, mm -hmm. naturally it came to be like, you know what, I should sort of do something with sports. Yeah. But I don't want to be a coach. No offense to coaches. Mm -hmm. um, but I just wanted to be able to do something to sort of help people. And that's what I knew from day one. So um, when I was younger, I, I had two things in mind. One, mm -hmm. I want to help people. And two, uh, my childhood dream was actually to write a book. Oh. You know, and I loved self-help books, you know, all the stuff yeah. that you can buy in the, in the shops, right? Yeah. And I always wanted to, and I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to write about. I don't know what I'm an expert in, but I want to write one. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where what kicked off, yeah. I guess, the passion. Um, then when I got to the stage of university, mm -hmm. I had a huge decision to make. It was, do I play badminton or do I study? <laughs> okay. so. so I chose both. Mm -hmm. And then the second question was, well, what do I study? So my sister... Um, is a fantastic sister and she's mm -hmm. also a fantastic GP. So oh. she went the medical route and I've got Asian parents, yeah. right? So doctor, <laughs> mum and dad are like, be a doctor, be a lawyer, you know. And, um, and my sister's a GP and she loves it. And she's, yeah. she's amazing. So it's uh, really interesting because I got into medical school mm -hmm. and I had three days to decide, do I want to do medicine or do I want to do chiropractic? Mm -hmm. And you went for and the chiropractic route. Ended up going for the chiropractic group. Mm -hmm. um, was it a hard decision to make? Well, there was a couple of factors. See, if mm -hmm. I went to medicine, the university at Monash Uni mm -hmm. have a very, very strong badminton club. So I'd be able to get a lot yeah. more training in. Like, it was just, there's a lot of international students, a uh -huh. lot of Indonesians there. Yeah. It would have been brilliant. Where I went to study um, at RMIT, yeah. the badminton club's... Um, a bit... Mm. Yeah. Okay. Kind of there, but yeah, just for fun. Pushing it. Just for fun, just for fun, <laughs> okay. right? So, so essentially the decision was like, well, if I want to play badminton, I've got to travel to the other side mm -hmm. of town just to get there. But I figured out, let's just do chiropractic because to me, if you take care of your body, your body will take care of you, exactly. right? Um, and I don't believe that any pill is going to fix anything, but if you can restore your body back to what mm -hmm. it should be, then you can be all you can be. That's very nice work. That's actually very true. I completely so, agree. So that's why I went down the chiropractic path. Very nice. Mm. And he wanted to be an author and now he is. He has just written yes. his own book, The Pain-Free Desk Warrior. That's a very that's interesting title. Why don't you yeah. tell us more about okay. the book? So the reason why I wrote this book, mm -hmm. or the reason why it's called The Pain-Free Desk Warrior is because, um, as I said, I have two you know, main types of clients, people mm -hmm. who are working away, working really hard, trying to bring home the bacon for yeah. the family, you know, doing whatever it takes. And then, of course, I work with the athletes, right? Mm -hmm. 
And the guys who are working really hard are kind of the, you know, to me a warrior is kind of those humble people, right? They're the people mm -hmm. that just put their best foot forward. And you know, I hate to admit it, I've never been in the corporate world. Yeah. But if you're high up there on the ranking, you kind of don't have to do and work as hard as the guys that are like the minions that are working their butts off. Okay. <laughs> so this book's actually written for those guys, right? Okay. Um, because those guys, they will kind of just go, okay, yeah, I get these injuries, like I sustain all of this, mm -hmm. you know, aches and pains and these illnesses and everything, and that's just part and parcel. I've got to live with it, right? Yeah. And they have these questions like, what well, can do I have to live with it? How do I get rid of the pain? You know, then they ask questions like, you know, but what's the best exercise? How do you mm -hmm. sit properly? How do you do, you know, and they have all of these questions. And yeah. I've been asked this over the last nine and a mm -hmm. half years, and I figured, well, might as instead well put of it into me, a book. well, yeah, exactly. Instead of me having to re repeat myself like every yeah. single time, like read this. <laughs> right. So where can we get that? Um, so this is in the, uh, as far as I'm aware, this is mm -hmm. in the book, the major bookstores in Singapore. Okay. You can also buy it online um, okay. from me. And if you do buy it online at drgarrytho.com, right? Yes. Um, what will happen is when you purchase this book, mm -hmm. you will also be providing 150 days of reading materials to girls in Cambodia. <laughs> Oh, that's so nice. So if you would like to support, you know, study in Cambodia and provide half a year's worth of reading materials yeah. to girls in Cambodia, you can also buy it online and you'll know that your money's going that way. Oh, that's so nice. So you're not only relieving your stress, you're also relieving other people's burdens across the country. I do as much as I can. Yeah, it's yeah. very nice. It's very interesting that you bring up this concept of people actually being desk warriors. I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of our audiences are working class people and you know they they do have all these they suffer from stress i'm mm -hmm. sure <laughs> and I, I should know don't we all <laughs> so um how does stress actually affect your whole body ah oh, wow how much time do we have <laughs> <laughs> okay i mean the, there's different types of stress yeah. and that we we need to understand first mm -hmm. so most people understand physical stress mm -hmm. because it's like, you know, bad posture. Mm -hmm. um, if anyone plays Pokemon Go, oh. okay, and you look like this and you're playing and you, you run into walls yes. and stuff like that, right? You're going to have a really bad neck, mm -hmm. okay, if you don't already, okay. Um, so that's the physical stress. It's, you know, it's your bad posture, it's just lifting badly, you're just lifting things that are too heavy, yeah. overexerting, right? Some people try to push themselves when they go to the gym or run. Um, that's physical strain mm -hmm. and that, that can result in injury. Uh, but we've also got mental stress, emotional stress, yeah. chemical stress, and spiritual yeah. stress. Yeah. So we've got lots of stress yes. in this world, right? So um, how does chiropractic come into relieving well, this? That all changes how our body works, right? Mm -hmm. We all go into um, what I call a defense or a fight-flight mode, mm -hmm. okay? And that's our yeah. survival mechanism. Exactly. Yeah? So if we live in this fight-flight or this survival mode, we can never be really good. We mm -hmm. can never live a really happy life. We can never excel and be better than what yeah. we are, right? Because we're always just trying to fight for mm -hmm. today. So what chiropractic does is it gets us out of that, right? It mm -hmm. starts to help us deal with stress better. It helps to alleviate stress. And of course, it improves the efficiency of the body yeah. and, how, and how it works, right? Mm -hmm. mm. That's very nice. Yeah. I think you're going to show us some tips on how we can actually relieve this pain in the neck. Of I, I, if you're if you're giving like a neck massage, I'll be yep. very happy. Sure, sure. <laughs> Are you going to crack my neck? No, of course not. You said a massage. <laughs> I got a bit scared there because you know, oh this is the thing, um, people are always very scared when they go to chiropractors because they think that, oh they're going to crack my neck and it's going to be the wrong way and then you know like hypochondriacs like me, we just go crazy. Yeah, that's <laughs> why if you ever come to see me, I'll say go. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, I mean, okay, so neck cracking, see some people crack yes. their own necks. Yeah. Some people crack their own knuckles and backs and they also crack their own necks. Now, Generally, if you go to somebody who knows what they're doing mm -hmm. and who's certified and who's had years and years of experience, mm -hmm. uh, then the risk is very small. So in other words, you're probably going to have more risk getting injured on the way to my office then. than you are actually in my <laughs> office. All right. Okay. So in terms of risk, that's, mm -hmm. that's what the research is showing, okay? Okay. in terms of you know, danger and all that kind of stuff. Of course, if people don't like the popping noise as well. You know, unfortunately, that, that's um, just because of the well, that's, air. Yeah, that's gas okay. that's actually been created in, in the, the joint. Joints. Okay. All right, so it's not a big deal, but of course, if it's in the neck, people worry just because it's really loud. I mean, mm -hmm. you're really close to your yeah. ear, right? And it sort of vibrates. <laughs> that, that's inside. how it's loud. That's how it's loud. But if we did exactly yeah. the same thing for your lower back of your foot, you're gonna go. Nuh. Mm hmm So, try it once if if you've ever had this um, paranoia mm -hmm. like I do. But mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. 
So you're going to show us some tips yep. on how we're so going to... I'm going to show you my very classic and a very well-loved chicken wing stretch. A chicken wing stretch? Yeah, okay. Do you like chicken wings? Yeah, I do. I love Fantastic. eating them. <laughs> okay. Don't know about being one, though. Okay, so this is how you do a chicken wing stretch, everyone. Okay. I'll mirror image you guys. So raise your right hand up. Right hand up. Put it behind your back so it sticks out over here on the left side. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to be down by your hip. Okay. Okay. Use your left hand mm -hmm. to pull it across. And that way you've got a chicken, chicken wing. wing. Yes. Okay. Now from <laughs> you don't have to flap it. It's okay. okay. <laughs> um, but because we all love chicken wings, or at least I hope most of us do, we're we going to tilt our head towards okay. the chicken wing. This way? Yep. So just tilting okay. your head towards the chicken wing side. Mm -hmm. Okay. And breathe. So we hold this stretch for at least eight breaths. And what I want you to feel is a stretch coming down here. So for mm -hmm. you, from your yeah. neck down across the shoulder there, right? we should feel the stretch there. Of course, if you do feel it on the other side, that means the chicken wing side, um, it does mean that there's something wrong with your neck because it doesn't bend and move mm -hmm. in that way. And of course, that's something that needs to get fixed. right? Okay. But can you feel the stretch? Yeah. Okay. It's a nice one. Good. Yeah. And um, if you want the bonus round for this stretch, mm -hmm. okay, so can you demo this for everyone to see? Okay. So look straight ahead. So get the stretch down in through mm -hmm. there. And then of course, uh, if you want the bonus round, what you need to do is drop your chin down a little. Can mm -hmm. you feel the stretch move? Yeah. Right, it's at a slightly different spot. Yeah, to okay. the back a bit. Yep, and if you drop your chin down a little bit more, can you feel it again on a slightly mm -hmm. different spot there? Yeah. Okay, and if you turn your head to look that way, mm -hmm. can you feel it's a little bit different again? Yeah. So now you can target anywhere on your neck depending on how you've positioned your head. So if you've got like one spot in your shoulder blade here yeah. that really hurts, right? Yeah. Just position your head to find that spot. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Now I'm just going to keep doing this. <laughs> my... Alright, but one thing. Yeah. Can everyone see this mistake she's making? No. Don't bend your body. Your body stays upright. Okay. See, as you keep going, it's like you're doing this and you go, like you're running Tilting. away from the screen, yeah. right? So your body stays perfectly still. Okay. Only the head and neck okay. bends. So when you drop your head, only the head bends. The body stays still there. Okay. Got it? Yeah, got it. Because if, if you move your well, body, if you move then your whole body, then nothing happens. Yeah. Exactly. And okay. if you um, tilt the wrong way, mm -hmm. like your chicken wings over there, if you tilt this way, yeah. nothing's going to happen. Really? Oh, feel oh, it oh, I mean, like if you move your chicken wing. It's oh no! If you move your chicken wing, then you go the other way, right? That's but if fine. you forget and yeah. you're like, which way do you tilt your head? Do you tilt it this way or that way? Uh, so if you go this way, nothing it really always, happens. It should always be on the opposite towards side. Towards the chicken wing, head towards the chicken towards wing. Towards the chicken wing. That's why I say if you like chicken wings, it makes it so much easier because you're always going to go to it, not away from it. Okay. So there you have it. We have our tips on how to get rid of that pain in your neck. Thank you.